Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. On a number of occasions in the past, I've cited research showing that a more plant-based diet is strongly associated with a reduction in risk of developing prostate cancer, the second leading cause of cancer death in men. Evidence also shows that men who have localized prostate cancer who are under medical surveillance show much slower tumor progression if they follow a more plant-based diet. But in January of 2024, publishing in the journal called Cancer, researchers examining evidence from the Large Health Professionals follow-up study have gone on to show that for men who previously were treated for localized prostate cancer, so they had surgery, they had radical prostatectomy, or they had radiation treatment, the men who followed a more plant-based diet after their surgery or treatment had much better sexual function, meaning they had less erectile dysfunction problems than men who continue to eat a diet containing more high-fat meat and dairy products. As well, the men following the more plant-based diet also had less urinary incontinence, better bowel function, lower incidence of depression and hot flashes, better hormonal balance, and higher quality of life scores. Their lives, their lives were better. The study involved over 3,000 men who previously were treated for localized prostate cancer and were followed for an ensuing seven plus years. Now as Dr. Justin Gregg, MD says, now he's a urology researcher at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. He pointed out in the Medscape interview about this study, our research has found that the Mediterranean diet, which is high in fruits and vegetables, legumes, nuts, a little bit of meat, a little bit of dairy, so it's mostly a plant-based diet, can slow tumor progression among men with localized pro prostate cancer on active surveillance. He went on to add that the results are not entirely surprising, as prior studies have shown an association between a more plant-based diet and improved sexual function, even in men who don't have prostate cancer. So for all men, it helps with their overall sexual function as they get older. And Dr. Kenneth Jacobson, another MD, professor of urology and director of lifestyle medicine at the Medical College of Wisconsin in Milwaukee, said that the new findings help establish the positive role of diet quality in plant-based diets, specifically on quality of life after prostate cancer diagnosis and treatment for not men with non-metastatic prostate cancer. The authors of the study also point out that not only is a more plant-based diet helpful for prostate health in general and quality of life scores, including improved sexual function in men, but it's also protective against cardiovascular disease, as many men who survive prostate cancer often die from heart attack and stroke because they're also in the high-risk years for cardiovascular disease. Now, regarding diet and prostate cancer, it's well established that many nutrients and phytonutrients found in plant foods are shown to block steps involved in the development of many cancers, including prostate cancers, whereas the fats and the high protein levels uh, in animal-based foods like meat and high-fat dairy products have the opposite effect. They have cancer-promoting influences on our cells. And I think that's important to note. I think it's important to also note that in this study, none of the men became strict vegetarians or vegans. They simply consumed less meat and dairy products and focus more on plant-based foods. They didn't have to become strict vegetarians or vegans or be that drastic. They just had to cut back on those foods and introduce more plant-based foods, often using soy-based foods as, a, as a, a protein alternative. I would also add that after age 40, due to the age-related changes in the prostate gland, that men, that men should also consider taking a supplement each day containing natural agents shown to block the buildup of the dangerous type of testosterone, which is DHT. As DHT builds up as you get older, it's strongly associated with increased risk of prostate cancer and its progression. So I personally take a supplement each day containing saw palmetto, pygm africanum, soy isoflavones, beta cytosterol, stinging nettle, uh, pumpkin seed extract, and lycopene. This may sound like some foreign um, uh, language to many of you, but these natural ingredients help to block the buildup of the dangerous testosterone inside the prostate gland. You want to stop the buildup of DHT or dihydrotestosterone. That's risky stuff. So I've included the reference for this study and the related Medscape article in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.